Woo, what's going on? It's Eric Taylor, Taylor 2 Coaching. We're back, continuing. What, we got five left? Mars and Aquarius, my Aquarius, I mean, my Mars series. Well, Aquarius is what? Traditionally ruled by Saturn, right? Sort of the masculine side of Saturn and Capricorn is the feminine side, but it's also co-ruler, right? In Western tropical. Uh, by Uranus, ruler of the 11th house. This is the fixed air sign. These people, Mars and Aquarius, oh man, that's why I'm doing this up here in the sky. All right? Yeah, see? I gotta give it to you like the freedom, the not following rules, the futuristic, eccentric Aquarius. Mars and Aquarius um, Maya Angelou, Tupac, Drake, Jay-Z, Dame Dash, Alicia Keys, Michelle Obama, Fergie, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, Trey Songs, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. I mean, shoot, is there anybody else? What else do I need to say? Oh, Adele. So right off the bat, What's the theme? All of them have put this imprint on the world of being eccentric, different, innovative, futuristic thinking, right? Not following the rules, creating their own lane, making their own rules. Mars and Aquarius, right? Because you know what a Mars is. Assertive, soldier, warrior, right? Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. Falls in Taurus and Libra. We're going to get to Leo and Libra next, right? Um, excelled in Capricorn. Detriment in Cancer. We already did that. So in Aquarius, <clears throat> this soldier, warrior, sort of aggressive energy, it's with this cold, detached planner, you know, or placement. Aquarius, the 11th house, is about friends and groups and pushing the the collective and humanity and society to new levels, new innovation, technology, right? Dame Dash and Jay-Z, what they did with Rockefeller Records and the clothing and Dame Dash with media and just, you know, Jay-Z being unique and Alicia Keys, Adele, Maya Angelou, Tupac, Drake. I mean, come on, Jada Pinkett with relationships and just Red Table, uh, Fergie. It's all over the place. It's written all over the face. Think of this as no strings attached. So when you're dealing with Mars and Aquarius, they will initiate weirdness, being spontaneous, having blue hair, then bleach blonde or platinum hair, tattoos, piercings, nose rings. Um, I mean, think of the innovation of Justin Bieber uh, through what getting discovered through YouTube, Justin Timberlake, Drake. So um, they're going to set up their own lane, their own rules, their own mission. They want freedom. They need it. That's how they breathe. Right. Think about Alicia Keys. Brilliant. Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou. So Mars and Aquarius, uh, one thing I like about them is that they don't really give enough what you think. Now, when they're single, the men and the women, very cold and detached, um, no strings attached, open sexually, um, non-committal, a little freaky and nasty. They don't like commitments. It takes time. But once they do commit, they're going to be loyal for the most part. But they might want a long distance relationship. They might want the friendship first. And remember Aquarius, that's sort of their mantra, right? Friends first. That's how they exist in this world. Trace songs, Jada, Jay-Z, Drake. Took Jay-Z a long time to settle down before he got Beyonce and then had his little miscue and affair. 
But now he's rocking right. I don't know if Drake will get married. Jada and Will have their own situation, right? We can't judge any of these people. We don't know them. Just because they're famous and so-called celebrities, we think we know them, but we don't. The only reason why I give you the famous people is so you have an idea, because most of you guys know these names. But just know Mars and Aquarius, they don't like being born into a society where red is stop and green is go. They'd rather be blue and purple. Does that make sense? You know, I know I got a lot of planets in my 11th house, you know, and it's not that they'll break laws, but they'll make new lanes, create new paths, let you know how the rules and laws don't really fit for them. Do a video up in the sky in the rain and drizzle in a little, you know, it, it's, um, it's more than eccentric. It's, um, it's really what we need, what our world and society needs. They bring in the innovation. They bring in the change. They bring in... <laughs> they bring in the flavor. Freak nasty. Very intelligent. Pushing the envelope. Um... You know, we have to be thankful of how they've created or rearranged and changed the games that they're in. You know, we're able to quote Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou and Tupac, Alicia and Jay-Z. So many of these people are connected. Pharrell Williams, they've all worked together, right? That's kind of dope. Um, they... When they get angry, it's more internal. Because they're going to act like they don't really care. And if they do, you won't know it. They'll care. But it's going to be mental, internalized. And they'll plot their revenge if they want to. Or they'll just ignore you. Like, you don't matter. Mars and Aquarius is going to push through whatever boundaries you set and break them. And put up new walls, new ceilings. No ceilings. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's, um, they're creative. Right? Remember Aquarius, the water bearer, is thinking about humanity, the collective. So yeah, they might change things and rearrange it, but it's not selfish. It's really for everyone. But remember, it's still Saturn. So it's still got discipline and structure behind it. It's also just future thinking and very innovative. The masculine side of Saturn, the Uranus, the sudden changes. So not only will they suddenly change their hair, they'll suddenly switch styles, genres, their, you know, mission, their goals, their dreams. It's a good friend. And they will go to war for their friends, be brave and courageous for their friends fight for their friends, fight with their friends. Mars and Aquarius is anything and everything that you could fathom. <sighs> I like this placement. All those famous people are fascinating, but this placement is different from Venus and Aquarius. It's still friends first, but this is like, this is like wildness with your friends. And they can make fight to make up to break up. But just know everything comes down to freedom, abstract thought, pushing, pushing the envelope, the limits, changing technology. Okay. And, um, you know, you need to know what house it's in. You get your birth chart done. They're ready for the age of Aquarius. These people are going to be walking in it with no problems. Look at Adele. Look how she changed everything. Her whole new body. Right? You didn't see Alicia Keys marrying Swiss Beats. Um, you know. So hit me up, Taylor to you coaching at gmail.com. Check out Taylor to you coaching.com. So blessed to be working with my clients all over the world. I'm in many countries, you know, doing it. 
So um, hit me up. I mean, just 150 for a birth chart. Full 12 house report, 40 to 50, even longer custom, custom video summary for your birth chart, breaking it down so you understand it. So if your Mars is in Aquarius in a 10th house, that's gonna be more focused on your career, right? If that's where your midheaven is in the fourth house, you could be very cold and unique and weird at home. You know, the mother that, or the father that dresses up, you know, will wear the same outfits as their kids and dress their kids up wild and crazy. You know, seventh house, very weird, bizarre, detached relationships. A frupple, uh, you know, or this or that. Sister wives, in the first house, you were just completely tattoos on the face, unique, da da da, like all these different things. Um, it's time. Come into the future, learn astrology, get your mind right, get your soul right, get your game tight. Salute to Tupac, Drake, Pharrell. Jay-Z, Dame Dash, Mars and Aquarius, they gonna find innovative ways to rebel and get the cash. All right, your boy E complete smash on the dash. I'm not gonna give you no trash. Truth and elevation, Mars and Aquarius, here to push the envelope and heal, rearrange. The nation please comment down below subscribe ring the bell ring my bells ring my bells so i think i'm doing leo then libra next and then we'll finish up with scorpio and capricorn pretty much like i said at least capricorn i didn't think i'd save scorpio this last you know second to last but now that i'm there that's what i'll do all right hot and humid out here, a little muggy and AZ. Mars and Aquarius, peace from the E. And um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, you guys are really, um, you can be a little mean sometimes, um, but you're very loyal to your friends. And, you know, when you're dealing with Saturn and Uranus, this is definitely some, some progressive game-changing energy. So thank you. All right? Hit your boy up. Tired of these bugs. I got to get out of here. Because I'm up, up in the sky. I wonder if Red Man has this placement, right? <laughs> Shout out to Red Man. Hip hop forever, baby. E complete. Check me out. E complete at the Be careful. Dropping some new music soon. All right. Tailored to you, coaching. Hope you enjoy. Mars and Aquarius. Do you. You're going to do it anyway, whether I say it or not. So, um, stop being such freaks. I know how y'all are. No strings attached. Some kinky wild sex. Their sex can be kinky. And the men, they can get down like that. And then the women, they'll like a man that has always got a plot and a plan and a scheme. Not like in a bad way, but just they want a man that is like really changing the game. Right? Alicia loves Swiss beats. Adele, I don't know, but you know, Jada with Will, you know, someone that's just doing it and just, you know, is intelligent and creative. Mars and Aquarius women like that. Okay? Think. Think about it. Boom, boom. <laughs> Justin Beaver? Justin Timberlake? The Justins? What? You know they're dope. All right. Shout out to all of y'all. I'm out of here. The bugs are making me crazy. Taylor, do your coaching. Ah, Mars and Aquarius. Peace.